Welcome to Account Key Management. It's very important to understand public and private key management. Otherwise, you could potentially lose your crypto assets. Every account has a public key and a private key, otherwise known as a cryptographic key pair. The public key forms your identity and has an associated address where you will receive digital assets. For example, the public address can be provided to someone else if you want them to send you assets, such as algos, as well as any other fungible or non-fungible tokens. Your private key is derived from the passphrase when you create an account. It is recommended not to share this at all, as well as not have an electronic version of this on your laptop or in email. Store in a safe place, such as a security box, along with your other important documents. The only electronic version of your passphrase should be in a digital wallet, such as Para. Your wallet uses your private key to approve transactions sent to you. But even for a digital wallet, you still should have an offline copy of the phrase. For example, if you change phones, the wallet app, Will be migrated over to the new device okay but none of the accounts will you will need to supply the 25 word passphrase to restore the account on the new device if your phone gets lost or just dies you don't have an offline copy of the passphrase you have just lost your assets plain and simple one other solution is to have a backup algo para wallet on another device such as a tablet or an old phone also, an account can be used in conjunction with the Nano Ledger X, which performs signing transactions via Bluetooth. The Nano Ledger is a good solution to manage your account as all of your accounts should be restored from the 24 password of your Nano Ledger X. The Algo Para wallet supports transactions using the Nano Ledger X. Simply install Algorand from the app catalog on the Ledger Live app. In the video on account creation, we saw when creating an account, a 25-word passphrase was provided for you to write down. Now we'll show you how to find your passphrase in the Para Algo Wallet. Also, we'll look at how to restore an account with that passphrase in the case you get a new phone or a backup device. You will also see SDK demos that use mnemonics. It should be noted that this is for demonstration purposes only. Never ever use mnemonics in the code. Instead, integrate your applications with one of the wallets. So on the Algopara wallet, first select the account that you want to get the passphrase for, and then hit the more button. And then you'll see a menu choice, one of which says a view passphrase. Click that, and then you'll see your passphrase for that particular account. To restore an account, hit the plus sign at the top of your accounts list and select I already have an account then recover an account select the recover an Algorand account button and enter your recovery passphrase the order is important okay let's take a look at how to restore an account from a mnemonic this one here is in Python you see here we're going to use the two private key method passing in the mnemonic and this should give us our private key. And you see that right there? Then we're going to take that private key and we're going to use the address from private key method on the account object. And that will go ahead and give us our account address, which you see down below. The next example we're going to see is JavaScript. And on this one here, we're going to use the mnemonic to secret key method with that passphrase. They'll instantiate the account. And the account object comes back, and you can see you've got the address and the key. And go ahead and print off the address. And there you have it. Using the uh, command line in goal, here's the command you would want to use goal account import and give it the mnemonic and then the wallet name. And there it is. And there's the imported uh, account now into that wallet.
So in summary, we learned about account key management using the Para Algo wallet. We saw how to obtain the passphrase as well as how to restore an account from a passphrase. And we did the same thing with the SDKs. We showed how to restore an account using the JavaScript SDK as well as the Python SDK. The big takeaway from this is to always have an offline version of your passphrase stored in your safety deposit box. Never ever share an electronic version of your passphrase with anyone or have it an electronic version on your laptop uh, anywhere as well. Those are the best practices. Thank you very much.